Reactions have continued to trail the release of some of the abducted Chiba girls by the Boko Haram terrorist group. 82 girls have been recently released after a negotiation between the federal government and the terrorist group, and Nigerians have ever since expressed positive disposition towards the release of the girls. First of all, I would uh, like to congratulate the government for the effort to you know, um, get the girls out of uh, captive. And it's been a very long time now the girls have been uh, kidnapped. And all efforts being made by the previous government, previous government did not uh, give results. We thank God they are out because many of us were beginning to lose hope about those girls. But when they were released, it was like a dream come true. Really, it's really amazing. I was very, very happy. You know, I'm from the, the Northeast, so it's a, it, they, this thing a kind of affect us directly, a kind of. So I just want to commend this government, especially Mr. President. I was surprised. I was very surprised to hear about the girls was releasing. So I don't even expect that that sort of thing will happen. But I did very surprised and I did very, very happy with that. The girls kidnapped as teenagers are now returning home as young women, with some of them carrying toddlers. And one can only imagine the trauma they must have endured in the hands of their captors. The girls were abducted for about three years now, since 2014. And um, by now, one will expect that they will have um, almost gotten used to the kind of environment they found themselves. And sometimes when a person is in captivity of that sort, it's possible that um, they will have even resigned to fate. Some of them perhaps did not expect that they would ever, ever be rescued from their abductors. And um, as these ones have been released now, so to speak, or rescued, to put in another way, it is expected that they must have gone through a lot of fitna. And the Quran says, Al fitna to Ashad Dumin al Kotli. For a person to go through trials and tribulations and a lot of inconveniences that those uh, girls must have gone through, it is worse than if a person were to be killed. Meaning that it is like uh, killing somebody psychologically, killing somebody mentally sometimes, robbing them of their self esteem removing their self, um, uh, you know, everything about them may have been distorted from what it's supposed to be. Because there, there's no type of food the um, abductors will have given them to eat that will make them to forget that that is not where they're supposed to be. It will be recalled that in April 2014, the terrorists forced over 270 girls from their beds in the middle of the night at the Government Girls Secondary School, Chibok, Borneo State. Since then, the kidnapping has sparked global outrage and the social media campaign, Bring Back Our Girls. 21 of those girls were released in October last year, besides a few of them who escaped on their own, including the additional 82 recently released. The release of these girls has generated lots of controversies and fears as to how they would be received by the larger community. They are our girls, they are our own people. We should do all we can to help them, integrate them, you know, bring them close to us, not stigmatizing them. Why? What if it has happened to their own children? What would they do? It's wrong. I don't see it so um, good if anyone out there will be tagging them as and these ones are this though we've been hearing complaint that even those uh, Boko Haram do sleep with them and all manner of things. I want to urge the government if they will still gather them then with their parents and give them a very good um, uh, hospitality. Since uh, three years now, if I'm not mistaken, you know, which will uh, uh, put them in a disadvantaged, you know, uh, position. For me, I think the government should first of all keep them somewhere, you know, make sure that they are given good orientation, you know, before they uh, release them to the society. We know that these girls were abducted. They, I mean, it was not of their own volition. 
some people were they were thinking ah they were looking fresh or robust abduction is not uh, about maybe being punished or being victimized that is not the only thing that we are looking at but that they were abducted against their will and then they were forced to do things they wouldn't have done ordinarily more specifically the infants supposedly belonging to some of the captors person will come to claim a child that uh, he has legally in fact, anybody who shows face now should be charged for abduction, should be charged for rape, should be charged for adultery. Because uh, these girls were not given to you by the parents. As at the age they left, they were not old enough to give themselves out. As far as Islam is concerned, they still needed a wali, they needed the consent of their parents before they were given out. So anybody who had forcefully, uh, you know, abducted a woman and uh, a child comes out of that he cannot lay claim legally to say this is my legal child and he doesn't have those legal rights over the child so the child belongs to the mother and belongs to the state speaking on how they can be fully reintegrated into the society pharmacist Kilani has this to say they need to be reintegrated properly into the society they need to be counseled they need to be are really encouraged and they need to know that it is not every person they meet that is bad. In fact, I think the government should finance their education as a way of compensating them. Memories of the abduction might not be easy to forget. Therefore, it is the responsibility of every Nigerian to cooperate with the government to fully reintegrate these girls back into the society and help them move on with their lives. Taiba Anifowoshi for iMedia.